In 2014, the shooting death of John Holman was captured on home surveillance. The crime became known simply as the E.B. Avenue shooting. The man who was charged with murder in the case, Charles Benson, beat that charge last May when the key witness was killed by a train. The Fort Wayne police say Benson was involved in a confrontation with a police officer on Lewis Street this afternoon. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson begins our coverage tonight. She has the latest on the investigation that puts Benson back in jail. Rod, Fort Wayne police say they pulled over a vehicle on Lewis Street and Charles Benson was the passenger. They say after the stop, he hopped out of the car and started shooting at police. This security video captured the September 2014 shooting of John Holman. Although prosecutors couldn't identify the shooter, a key witness said it was Charles Benson. Last March, that key witness was hit by a train. His death was ruled accidental by the coroner's office. The Allen County prosecutors had no choice but to drop the charges against Benson. Here's what the Allen County prosecutor had to say about it last May. On a criminal case, uh, you have to be able to prove your charges beyond a reasonable doubt, and we could not do that at this point. We interviewed every witness, every lead that we got that could be followed up on, and none of them um, were fruitful. But today, Benson is back in police custody. Early Saturday afternoon, a Fort Wayne police officer made a traffic stop on Lewis Street. Benson, who was sitting in the passenger seat, jumped out of the car and took off. Then he started shooting at the officer. That officer fired back, but neither men were hit. Benson was caught in a nearby alley and arrested. He's now in Allen County Jail. Benson is initially charged with attempted murder, possession of a firearm, and resisting arrest. Live in the newsroom, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.